Okay guys, hey it's Charlotte, I'm back in this video with another polarizing topic, but it's an important topic and this is why I'm speaking about it, to bring awareness. And the question that I'm going to be answering today is, hmm, should I be afraid of my child being autistic or... Should I be afraid of them being a narcissist or having antisocial personality disorder, which can be diagnosed as conduct disorder in children? There's so much propaganda, especially during just so much information and ableist propaganda that has been circulated throughout the web and ingrained into people's webs in their mind, their brains. This is the ignorance around autism especially autism in children. There is so much fear I hear from young parents, middle-aged parents, that they're so afraid that their children will be autistic when they don't really even know what autism is. Can we blame them? It's not properly represented in society, but I'm here to talk about that today. The answer to the question is you should not be afraid of your child being autistic. You should be intrigued and you should go in with an open mind and speak to professionals, watch videos from professionals, read articles, read books, and learn about autism spectrum. What is more worrying, and I barely see any parents talk about it, is worrying if your child will grow up to be a narcissist or have antisocial personality disorder. And under antisocial personality disorder is where psychopathy and sociopathy lie. Both of these cannot be diagnosed in children, but conduct disorder can be. And this is when children are violent, aggressive, and most importantly, show a lack of empathy. Brings me on to my next point. Lack of empathy is not a trait in autistic people of autism, but it is with narcissism, conduct disorder, and or antisocial personality disorders. This is what's worrying. People coming into our world who don't care about their neighbor. Love thy neighbor, hates their neighbor. Just me, myself, and I in the American dream. That is the mindset we don't want. And who benefits most from that kind of status quo is the people with lack of empathy and that have those disorders. And that's not autism. Guess what? Autistic people are statistically proven to have higher IQ than neurotypical people. This is a good thing. This isn't bad. Just because they're smarter than you doesn't mean they're bad. Remember, what you need to worry about is the lack of empathy. Yes, psychopaths and sociopaths can be intelligent. The ones that get away with it are highly intelligent because they're able to keep up that mask. <laughs> this is another point though. Autistic masking and narcissistic and lack of empathy masking is completely different. It can visibly appear the same, but the intentions are completely different. With the lack of empathy, they're trying to say what you want to hear so they can manipulate you. The autistic people are just trying to fit in with society and trying to fit with what they think are the social norms because it's hard for them to pick up on the social norms because they're just trying to be themselves to their best ability and it's not from a malicious place. Speaking of spectrum, they're on completely opposite ends of the spectrum even though it's the same word. Lack of empathy masking, autistic masking. But therein lies the difference, okay? Autistic people are not inherently cruel. Narcissistic and people with antisocial personality disorder usually are. And that is the spectrum that you should be worrying about. Moving on to my next point. Just because an autistic person's brain works differently does not mean that it works worse. You are just ill-equipped and ignorant. So the only solution for you comes down to that you just have to educate yourself to help better understand autism and help the autistic people in your life. And I'm not here to fully educate you today. I'm here to talk about this talking point. That's on you, come on. I'm not gonna do it all for you. I'm a layman at the end of the day. Another point, I've already kind of touched on this, but autistic people are not more violent or more likely to commit crime, but narcissistic and antisocial personality disorder are more likely. 
Again, see, see the difference? Autistic people are more likely to have innocence. And within that, empathy high IQ, and think outside of the box. Autistic people are not something to be afraid of. It should intrigue you again. Instead of being afraid of everything you see that you don't understand, just take a deep breath for a moment, center yourself, think, okay, what is this? How do I learn about this? If it's not harming me, how do I help better understand this person? It's that simple. Last point and overall, you're worried of something that you don't understand. Your worries are completely misplaced. The main worry should be that your offspring becomes violent and or calculated and callous and commit criminal acts in secret. Not that they might be autistic. There's so much cry and hate saying they don't want their children to be autistic, but silence when it comes to psychopathy, narcissism, and sociopathy. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the issue. I hope that this video helps enlighten you or educate you at least, or get your mind going at the very least on this topic. Yeah, just help you treat people around you in a more empathetic way and become someone who wants to grow as a human and learn more about the world and the people around them, okay? As always, God bless and have a great rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe, I do variety content and I'm uploading quite often, so. Yes, I speak on non-fiction matters and a variety of other stuff like my music and all the rest of my art. Bye guys. God bless. I stand with autistic people.